Podcast Network Asia. Hello and welcome to another episode of Bago Matulog with Red Oliero. Ah, uh, how long do we do this, and? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 37, 37. Eh. Y'all keep fucking watching this and we can't stop. <laughs> we want it to fail. Can't stop, won't stop. Ah, stop. We, have, we have our guest here, see, Poch Estrada is like a like an esports uh shoutcaster? Shoutcaster, and host. host. Oh, host. Lots of things. Lots of things. You also teach like well, you're like a well, uh, like a <laughs> mental wellness coach or That's something. That's recently, yeah. 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 So oh. Some esports team. Shout out to Playbook Esports, uh, helping them out. Yeah, host, voiceover, just yeah. a lot of voiceover. Things, right? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So um, I brought in Poch because um, we're kind of like contemporaries. I think we we uh, were kind of the same, but no, now on content and everything, and uh, wanted to bring in Poch here because uh, wanted to talk about rocketing, mm. and as, as in like how. Does one rocket like I don't mean, like I'm, I'm talking mm-hmm. freelance? Huh? I'm not gonna do the joke. Set it up. Set it up. Ayo ayo ayo. Yung yung uh, uh, it wasn't well received. <laughs> sa utak ko after ko sinabi yung kanina. Oh, oh crap. Kasi sabi ko dami joke kanina na mga Wilson rockets. Ooh. Ooh okay. Save that for the Patreon. Man. Oh, that, that, that's, that's the other content. <laughs> they won't pay for that. They will. Bakak magunsubscribe sa dalal. So like take my money. I just don't want to listen to this anymore. <laughs> Parang ganun. Pero okay, yeah, uh, we, we, I want to talk about that. Kasi mm-hmm. everybody who's pursued their passion has uh, one way or the other. Hindi naman usually the whole thing that you're pursuing is going to pay for everything you do. And for let's sure. face it, we need money. So uh, we all started out as like rocket people. Mm-hmm. And Rin din, si Rand din, nag-rocket din yan paminsan-minsan. Like he writes for, uh, on the side. And uh, minsan sumasali sa mga beer drinking contests. And he wins. And then just wins and just wins. Defending and, champ. Uh, feeds his alcoholism for the day. Dating na punta ako. Kailangan na start yung bakit. Hindi mo ba? Hindi mo ba nag-start? Akala ko isang bakit na isinom ko. Teka lang. The conversation is getting good but it's just the intro guys. We'll start the show after this very unnecessary. TV, no, and then, mm. kantayin mo ulit, kantayin mo ulit. Dude, ang angas eh. Si uh-huh. Red Oliero, uh-huh. my talk show, so, yung talk show, hindi kay Red alam, Oliero. <laughs> hindi niya lang alam, that's painful for Andrew to do this. Eh. <laughs> we actually repeated this thing. <laughs> Kanina, may, we had some technical difficulties. Fourth wall's gone. Uh, and like a whore, gone. I did it. Uh-huh. Like, like a, a bitch. Like a professional whore <laughs> who doesn't get paid, uh, honestly. <laughs> Like, Andrin only gets paid when someone pays for the podcast. And most of the time, I'm going to ko because it's too low. <laughs> but, it's, but it's money Andrin could use. Of like red. <laughs> but I don't, give, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I want more. How good. Oh, okay, okay. oh my God. Okay, so we're talking about, I know, uh, I don't know what I said na kanina. Uh, sa first take. Racketeering. Pero, racketeering. Mm-hmm. Racket. Mm-hmm. Racket life. The racket life. Mm-hmm. Pero yung sinasabi ko, like, there are uh, a bunch of Podcast Network Asia podcasts mm-hmm. that are really great, and if you listen to them, they'll really help you become like a like a better person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then come in, then chart. It's like the shittiest things that we talk hey, about. Hey, it's no. natural. I think it's not good advice. You quit your job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always say that then to people, mm-hmm. right? So that's one, and then um, like. Yung, yung podcast ni Ron, yung podcast ni Laika, yung podcast ni, uh, ni Cara. There's so many. As in like, there's so many people here in the podcast network Asia lineup na, mm-hmm. na, that give out so many great stuff. So we're trying to step up our game with by bringing in Poch mm-hmm. here. What an intro. Uh, Jeez. Uh, uh, <laughs> papantayan mo lang naman yung mga ibang great uh, podcasts uh, sa tabi natin. Oh, oh. De, pero mm-hmm. si Poch kasi, kind of, we're kind of like contemporaries, I guess. Parang, we, we got in the game of wherever we're trying to pursue at almost at the same time. Nauna-una ng konti, siguro. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you can see a bit. It's, uh, you can see he's a bit younger, more fresh faced. And, uh, are you pushing thirty now? Yeah, I'm pushing thirty this year. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling young you. anymore. I was telling it. him, I'm like, because I always 30. saw him as like, a like, young buck. You know, Ooh, coming up, look uh, at that, uh, nice. big brothering Ooh. red. I mean, yeah, we. I, I think we. Met, I mean, just you know, giving a little context. When we first met, we we had the same wallpaper, ladies and gentlemen. Oh nga? You know? Oh my god, <laughs> we had the same phone wall. I know phone wallpaper. That's a. Wala bang wallpaper phone mo? Hindi, I mean, ano yung nasa picture? Are you still using a shitty phone? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I feel attacked, Red. It's okay lang yan. That's fine. Hindi, ano yung nasa picture? Nobody will defend you. I'll defend. The wallpaper we had, this is what we talked about earlier, it was CM Punk. It was a WWE 13. We're like, dude. Pares na parehas, no? It was the same one. It was the exact same one, the WWE 13 CM Punk wallpaper. Because we met, parang yung school org niya got me to talk it was like a really early shitty stuff. It stop. was. <laughs> That's usually the, like, how it goes. Like it's, it's 7 like a.m. All, all the great people na mag- magkasalita is it like at 2 p.m., 4 p.m. Ako mm-hmm. parang parang 6 a.m. yung call time ko. Hey, my... but you stretched like hell. Oh nga. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did a, like a solid 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes for yeah. like a good up a 10 minute talk or something mm-hmm. like that. Because <laughs> like, like the other figures didn't wake up. Oh, yeah. So it's like you needed to stretch. You yeah. needed to stretch. Tapos parang the slot was like 8 a.m. or something mm-hmm. like that. Nobody... In the right mind, he's gonna get up at eight p.m. and listen to a person <laughs> uh, on a Saturday. On a Saturday, oh, right? Yeah, no. So you, the you. highlight of my day there was meeting Red, and he told uh, me about stand up, yeah. and that's when our, our friendship kind of like we yeah. started talking about we 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 like stand up and and pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. Then I got into the corporate game, and it wasn't for me. Like you know, what? I think it's the realization where you like realize like, is this my life already? When like, you were coming up in the corporate, I was already on my way out. Yeah. Yeah, you were. Yes, mm-hmm. because when you guys hired me uh, to do that talk, I was already parang two years, two and a half years in mm-hmm. sa, sa ad agency ko and I won lots of awards. <laughs> oh my God. Ang dami na. Undefeated, uh, undisputed. Uh, fat, fattest employee. Wow! wow. <laughs> <laughs> Most cookies in a day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go. No, but that's nga. So, mm-hmm. um, and then you entered corporate, and yeah. then I was on my way out. And then, uh, mga some years later, we reconnected because you also helped out in wrestling, yes. so PWR, mm-hmm. And I was trying to become a wrestler, and you were. What were you trying to be? Did I was saying that I was supposed to announcer. Yeah, no, I wanted to be like help out in social media because I wanted to blend what I did in corporate to. PWR uh, and then they're like you sound great you want to be a ring announcer we know about the, the previous ring announcer uh, uh, so uh, uh, you're uh, like uh. yeah why don't you be a ring announcer and then that's when it started and that's when I asked you also I need to do something outside of corporate then you're like dude quit your job <laughs> 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 which I you know what that, that always stuck with me but let's say I, I gotta figure out other things so yeah. after corporate I went into say I went to like personal development and training yeah. just so I'd know a little more about myself and soul searching. Mm-hmm. Then after that, I tried working with startups. And then from there, I was like, you know what? I think That's I got it. That's hard. Huh? Yeah. So it's like mm-hmm. startup company. So hard. Like, mm-hmm. uh, as in, you got to wear many hats. A right? lot. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, there mm-hmm. are mm-hmm. like that sometimes in startup companies na parang, uh, like you have to open your own bank account. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do your own payroll. Oh, yeah. you have to do your payroll. Yeah. Fuck that, man. So you, I, you get to wear a lot of hats. What mm-hmm. kind of hats? Is <laughs> yeah. it a cute hat? Like, is he like this? Yes, hat. he's like this. Okay. 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 Kulang na lang takpan niya yung microphone niya. Galitan ba talaga yung co-host mo? Huh? Wala ba talaga siyang kwenta? Basura siya. <laughs> nah. Uh, but that threw sorry. me off. That threw uh, me off. But yeah, so that, I think getting into corporate kind of helped me um, get my feet wet with what I needed to accomplish. Yeah. Like yeah. I needed to know more about how to run a business, how to yeah. do this, how to get into sales and all that. So once I took the plunge, you're like, uh-huh. all right, let me not. Uh, and you me, were young then. I like, was. What, 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 how, how old were I think you I was like 24, 25. Yeah, so, so good. So, like, right? resign mga 24. So, dude, yeah. I'm just following your blueprint right now. So, <laughs> now, how many years I'll be, I'll have <laughs> bagong magising. <laughs> bagong gising. <laughs> bagong gising. So, na yung magic ko kasi si Red, diba, nandun yung poster niya yung Red Oliero talks about the career driven life. That's so good. Not just also being quit your job. Well, thank you for attending my TED talk. It was more of like about ideation, I think. Pero, Mm-hmm. I do tell a lot of people to quit their jobs. Because <coughs> I find like 
people with jobs are very miserable. Mm. And and parang they feel like we've been built up on this system na akala mo dapat may trabaho tayo lahat. Na, your na, values there. Yeah, your yeah. value is mm-hmm. there. Your value is within your career. And as, you know, our very young uh, production assistant listens in the, in her full-time <laughs> job. Please don't, please don't leave us. <laughs> we need you here. Um, malaso ka magparesign ng tao, honestly. Um, He's like the opposite of HR. <laughs> 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 uh, quit your job. De, pero kasi, ito yung one, mm-hmm. one thing. Um, first, I think, uh, we're all too young when we enter the corporate world. True. Uh, ito yung pinaka, pinaka glaring example. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to college at 16. Wow. Yeah. And I graduated at 20. Delayed now on ito. Ah. Mm-hmm. I graduated at 20. I could have graduated at 19. Mm-hmm. I graduated at 20 years old. I got my first job at 20 years old. Actually, I got my first job while I was in college. Pero okay. it was like a part-time job. My first real job was in was when I was 20. Mm-hmm. Diba? So... Para ang hirap naman. Like I don't even honestly. I've been I've been so blessed. Uh, like I'm doing something na di, di ko and and it's fun to do. And now it's 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 doing marginally successful mm-hmm. shows. You stand up comedy. I've been blessed to do that. Pero honestly, I ako I still wake up and or like stay up late at night thinking now what's next. Like what what, right. what else can I do, diba? And that's what the nine to five gives you at least. Like yeah, that's stability. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. If you have a, if you have stability naman, ang ang problem naman nun, yung shelf life niya, it fades unless you really like your job. Mm. Yun mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so, true. So so that's hard. See Andrin's like one glaring example. Mm-hmm. What did you take Andrin in college? Um um BS nursing. <laughs> what? For real? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Oh my god! He's a fucking registered nurse. Yeah. Man. Oh, um, not are anymore. you still? Because I expired my license. I didn't renew. When 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 did your license? So Dude, like five 20, years ago. 26, 2014, 15, 16, 17. Dude, I can message him if I have an no, emergency now. <laughs> like expired in 2018. No, he sucks. Like expired in uh, 2018. Yeah. Uh. So so you were a nurse <laughs> when you started open. Mic. Holy yeah. smoke! Oh, so he was a nurse and. Now he's a stand-up comedian. Pinak- kasi ako, I took computer science. Eh. Yeah, you did. Yeah. But I got a writing job naman sa advertising mm-hmm. after. Mm-hmm. So medyo malapit yung trabaho sa, sa stand-up. Sa creative yeah. pa rin, mm-hmm. Ito puta layo eh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. And he he actually went through it, mm-hmm. became a registered nurse, and beca- worked as a nurse for yeah. a while before. <laughs> yeah, how long? <laughs> One month. <laughs> One month. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> before he figured out, I might kill people with this. <laughs> <laughs> with my responsibility. Wait, well, yeah, what was the moment you're like, oh, this oh, is oh, it no. for me? The, the, oh, no, it, this really happened because uh, I was watching. Mis- CPR. Oh my God. miscarriage yung isang mom. Whoa. Whoa. Tas, uh-huh. Siyempre, kahit patay na yung baby, dapat well presented, huhugasan. Ako yun ng hu- naguhugas na. Oh my God. Uh, dead, 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 dead na baby. Tapos, wala akong naramdaman. Tapos uh, doon ko yeah. naisip na, oh. dita. Like, wala akong compassion. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you guess, need guess. that. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna be a uh, good nurse. Okay. Or you could be a good nurse kasi uh. nga, ano ka, impartial. Para kasi Dr. House. <laughs> House. I was just thinking about that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, but, uh, anak mo. Kinagis <laughs> ko ka karon. Yung kinagis ko parang kay Jean Snitsky. Diba? <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> taka lang, taka lang. Mm. So, you had to clean the baby? Yeah. That's and then, cool. what do you do with it after? Um, usually, Again, di ko alam kung probinsya to ah. Uh-huh. Di ko alam kung proper to. Um, we put it in a box and we give it to the the mom. Do you really Whoa. put it in the box? Yeah. As in like a like a like a cardboard box? Yeah. Well, oh. what is it? Is it like a recycled box or parang? It's a box. It's just a box like yung sa mga kahon. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we just put it there. Gave it to the mom. Sorry po. Dude. It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. Pero wala na ramdaman. <laughs> Parang wala kang compassion, wala mo. Nanawa ako, pero like, hey, better, like. And then after that, like, this is not for me. Yeah. So the so, next day, you're like, I'm Pero out. didn't you, didn't you encounter like other stuff then while you were in nursing yeah. school? Yeah. That's parang, so it, it here, all just boiled down here's to Here's what point. happened. Oh. Mm-hmm. Kasi yung grading doon, lecture lab. Uh. Taas ng lecture ko. Uh. Kasi, dude, let's uh. face it, multiple choice mo that you have. Like 25%, uh, 25% of just like uh, passing. So, ang mahina ako sa practicals. <laughs> okay. Um, but you became a nurse. You became a registered nurse. Yeah. If, oh. Sa exam. Sa exam. Like, wala naman pra... Di naman kami magsisipi ang habang so, like, so exam. So, in book, yeah. Uh, like, in theory, yeah. On paper, yeah, nurse-wise. Yeah. But like, in practice, no, that's uh, not your thing. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay. Dang. Well, that won't match up to any... 
kind of resignation stories. That's that not. Uh, <laughs> I, I think we should move on. <laughs> I resigned because um, I was enjoying my job, honestly. You and were? I, yeah, I felt like it was really good. But the problem it was stopping me from doing stand up. Eh. Mm. Because sometimes the, the work hours advertising was like terrible. terrible. So sometimes I would do gigs and come back to work oh, after. Wow. Ganun. So, mm-hmm. parang nun time na yun, parang, oy, di gan- the fun part of stand up is always hanging out with the comics. Actually, exactly. Right? <laughs> and that's where you kind of develop your voice. Because, mm-hmm. kung parang may ibang tao, parang tumatambay lang kayo. No, it's part of the process because you're with your peers and you're yeah, with the scene. About, yeah, yeah, talk about mm-hmm. the shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ganun klase. Talk a lot so, of trash. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a lot of John 316. <laughs> Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Uh, and then, mm-hmm. parang maraming factors eh. One, I had a conversation with Victor Anastasio mm-hmm. in, a, in, a, in a Rufus Tapa. Tapos sinasabi niya lang na parang, hindi mo ma-enjoy ito. Nakakasama mo lang ako kasi nakalive ka boss pero hindi mm-hmm. mo ma-enjoy. Tapos nag-resign din siya from being a banker. Wow! Uh, and then, the next conversation was... With Alex Kalieha, actually. Mm. And then he told me na masaya to, huwag kang makinig sa iba, kaya natin, kaya natin ayusin to. Parang ganun. We, can, we can make money out of this. Mm-hmm. If you're worried about money, we can we can make money with it. And true enough, 10 years later, <laughs> <laughs> predicting the future. Let's yeah. go. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then the third one is I accidentally picked up my boss payslip. And he wasn't making that much money. Oh, <laughs> then yeah, you know oh, how the sausage is oh, made. It's oh, over. Oh, oh, no. para, okay. Because I wanted to be in his position in like five years. Okay. Tapos ako parang, is this gonna be what I'm be making five years? Yeah. Nisha super worth it. Alam mm-hmm. it, it, it was high, but I didn't think it was that. Or it'd be high for, for like the fucking work he does. <laughs> That's true. Imagine you know, you read, like yung kunwari ka usap niya yung future self niya okay. na naging banker yung parang <laughs> out of the sa na rin sino ka the monster you should have been. Oh, <laughs> no. That's like, like a Wolf of Wall Street eh. No? <laughs> like, how do you resign? Yeah, I, rem- you sign, I remember mm-hmm. I remember it was you kind of asked me about it. Yeah, know? I did. Uh, so my first job in in advertising I was actually um, I, I didn't renew and ah, okay. in so the middle of it, okay. I actually had a panic attack. Oh, shit. And I was like, what? I'm, I'm stressing. Yeah, because I had like, I got a stomach flu and then I needed to submit something and I was yeah. in the hospital and I was like, oh no, I got so stressed. I had a panic attack yeah. and then afterwards I just collapsed because right once you have a panic attack, it's like yeah, you yeah. kind of calm down. And I think that was like my wake up call. No. And my friend always told me that, yo, wake up calls only get louder and louder. Exactly. And it's like, let me just finish this and uh, not resign. Let's just finish this whole how, year. How many months? But no. It was a year. A year contract. A year? Pa? Yeah. I, so, uh, no, no. Sorry. Uh, six months. In six, six months. months. I, had, I had six more months. That's still long. Yeah. And then in that six months time, I already met you. I met mm. everyone. That's why I, I was so convinced. Like, let me try to build something outside of this. Yes. And then I decided, hey, let's try going in another industry. That's why mm. I went into training and self-development. Which helped out a lot. Yeah. And then I, I didn't think I was making too much of an impact. And I kept doing PWR on the side too. Yeah. So I thought you were like, having fun. I was having fun, right? Yeah. I was like, okay, I have a day job on the weekends. I'm a ring announcer. I'm doing this. Yeah. And then uh, I resigned from that because I wanted to help out startups. Mm-hmm. But man, startups are so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> They're so stressful. I think it's very hard to help out startups kung, kung, kung bata ka. Yeah. yeah they need... take advantage of the youth, oh, they dude. It's like, wow. Uh, it's like, yeah, you. oh, you can help this? All right, cool, uh, cool. Yeah, so I got kind of burnt out there. Uh-huh. And then that's when I started getting into esports. Yes. And... I, I mean, every time I talk to you every that, uh, weekend of that show, did you quit your job yet? Did you quit your job yet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I eventually, like, I started flirting with the idea, like, what if I do quit it? Yeah. I have a radio background. Uh, I, I can do voiceovers. Yes. I think that's why I can do it. So I would, I would say, you know what? Take in the red pill because yeah. red, you know, Morpheus, take uh, the red pill, do uh, that. He, yeah, I was able to do that. And I tried not looking back, and so far it's it's yeah, all right. But I did I do get those sleepless nights where in what's where, where's the next paycheck yeah. coming from? Uh, <laughs> my first panic attack came after I resigned. Really? Or oh, yeah, when you were my, in your car, you yeah, told me yeah, that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was in my car. That's the only ala ng kotse ko. What did I do? <laughs> like I, I don't know. Parang yeah, like oh. parang <laughs> lalabas lam. Because parang it was like mm-hmm. I remember it was a night na I had a gig, and it was a. It was a... I forgot. It, it, there were a lot of people in that game. Mm-hmm. Tapos, Boro yata. I'm not sure. Wow. Okay. Mm. But, I didn't do well. 
Tapos, oh, that'll do it. And then, yun nga, parang, tayo nag-resign ka para dito, tapos, wala ka kinikita, so, banu ka pa rin. Uh, parang, alam mo yun, di ba? Because that's gut check time for you, Ginawa right? Yeah, ginawa yeah, yeah. Ginawa oh shit, I'm supposed to take this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Oh, no. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. You, you definitely need a backup plan. I would say, mm-hmm. yes, quit your job, but know that you need something of yeah. value. Yeah. 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 So, mm-hmm. so for the first, ilang, kasi the first time I resigned, I gave myself six months of talagang wala. Mm-hmm. Um, may konting ipon ako because advertising doesn't pay for a lot of mm-hmm. shit. Uh, konting, very, very konting ipon. And then, I think after a few months, uh, may nag-offer sa akin na ibang agency because my boss, my other boss, mm-hmm. uh, left the BBDO and then went to, I forgot what agency. Yeah, Basta okay. Agency. And then that agency made an offer because they recommended ako ng boss. And it was like, like halos triple yung salary ko. Freelance. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Like, full time. Oh. Full time. And I remember because uh I saw si Bry Looms there so, mm. in that agency. I forgot which agency. Leo Burnett. Leo Burnett, there yes, thank you. Gotcha. Uh, so um I lied about how much I was making. And then <laughs> uh they kind of like doubled it. So in reality, major almost triple na. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, yo, this is really good money for like, you know. Uh, coming from shit pay and then no pay yeah. and then ano ba yun tapos it's gonna be like my boss keeps telling me oh it's gonna be much lighter and and yung ano dito we're gonna have fun blah blah Ooh, blah all the buzzwords yeah, all the buzzwords and, and that the, the, yung boss ko na yun si Meggy uh, until now we're friends mm-hmm. uh, tawag dun talagang ano ba yun when, when she says something na ganun I, I, I believe her so parang okay. talagang, it's a really good offer and then parang Pipirmahan ko na lang yung kontrata. Like, I saw, re- I really wasted Leo Burnett's time. As in, like, no way. Pa- pabalik-balik ako. Like, you were about to sign and then? Then, sinasabi ko minsan na parang, can I just take like one month? You know? And then, I was about to sign it and then, yun nga, parang, uh, ayoko. So, I didn't do it. Because uh-huh. uh, I was having so much fun doing stand-up and hanging out with the guys, di ba? And then waking up the next <laughs> the day. Boys. Na, the boys. The boys. <laughs> G- uwi ka ng 4 a.m., gising ka ng 11. The best. Uh, the diba? best. Ganun lang eh. <laughs> Ganun lang eh. Tapos, uh-huh. sabi ko, sige, bahala na. And then, that's where I said, no, oh, hindi, stand-up comedian ako, ganyan, ganyan. And that's where I had para mga shitty gigs. I had that panic attack. And I had, siguro mga a couple, mm-hmm. and several panic attacks. And then that's what I realized na parang, you can't just fucking, yeah, just like, blindly pursue things. You, you cannot. Know, uh, you cannot. You, you, there's gotta be like strategy. Mm-hmm. And there's gotta be like, ano. So, so is this episode about strategizing for people listening? Resign response. Kasi, <laughs> kasi ang daming, daming tao that look on to me and they say, oh, si Red talaga, yan, puta, kinarpi, DM niya yung buhay. No. Yeah, but no, really, it's Yo, not. Like, y'all see the results uh, of the hard work. Uh, There's like so much behind the scenes. It, so much. Yeah, tinan mo yung fucking Jace niya pa. These are Jace. These, these are Air Force Ones. Dumbass. <laughs> Weird ass fucking rainbow. Merengue. Merengue? Yes, merengue. But merengue, merengue is white. Yung iba't ibang kulay na merengue. Bruno Mars shoes. The what finesse. does that even mean? I man? don't know. Birthday cake feet. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> so, <laughs> these are actually like one of the cheapest shoes I own. But I got this for like 1200 or Bubble something. Bubblegum shoes. They uh, look great. Uh, <laughs> if they were on sale, nobody wants them. Oh. <laughs> and I got I them. Can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I got them for the, the, the Lenny campaign when they were saying, oh, hindi na tayo pink, lahat ng kulay na tayo. Oh, oh. And I saw this. And Boom. I'm like, oh, I can't make fun of that now. No. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. I cornered you now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pero, okay. So, mm-hmm. that's where I... Resign called, responsibly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Called up like a bunch of my former workmates. And then, yo, may parakit ka ba dyan? Ganyan. Mm-hmm. And then, so, I was pursuing stand-up comedy. Mm-hmm. Technically, hindi pa super full-time when I resigned from my work because I was also, also was busy with probably working mga four hours, five hours a day. That's not bad, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, uh, devoting it to stand-up later on. So, like, I was writing for... Ad- uh, for Pepsi, for mm-hmm. uh, Lola Teki. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, I was like the voice of Lola Teki, the 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 the, the, the writer, writer behind mm-hmm. Lola Teki sa sa FB page niya before, <laughs> and then you know uh, I tried to to really be not di masyadong pala mo Like I live rent free in my my parents' house, pero. Alam mo yun, nakaka-contribute ka and shit like for that. Sure, while for you're sure. pursuing your passion. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, it wasn't that bad. Uh, 
Kasi yung mga ibang tao para, oh, mag-resign lang ako, tas bahala. Na. Yeah, you need yeah. that sense of reality check too. Yeah. It's like, you can't just, alright, I'm gonna pursue this. I'll exactly. be a host, I'll be a pro player, I'll be all that. You need to have a backup plan just in case because... What honest, was your what was your side hustle after you resigned? Or voiceovers. Voiceovers? Yeah. Like, damn. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, you have a oh, wow, great sexy voice. He has wow. great sexy voice, what yeah. I'm saying. He has radio oh. voice. But <laughs> when I heard him, like, when he wasn't pursuing anything in voiceovers and I'm like, yo, that that's, you have a nice voice. Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so Upwork. <laughs> I don't like how you made your voice sexier. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Like, <laughs> naging Inka Magna. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Inka. Inka was one of my mentors in radio, actually. Oh, shit. Nice. Yeah. yeah, when I did the rookie program, mm. they, they uh, I had a show, a slot with her and she taught me so much. So shout out to Inka. Yeah. But yeah, voiceover, that's that's the thing I think first step that you need to take if you're going to pursue anything outside of the nine to five, you have to make sure you find something of value to someone that's yeah. l- that's not necessarily you sitting in a desk from nine yeah. to five. Mm. And with you with writing, mm. uh, yeah. voiceover, and, but uh, dude, I'm going to know. I'm sorry, this is out of topic, but chat GPT, I'm so scared of it now. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> no, like I know writers? I don't know. Yeah, no. It's so scary. That's... Uh, mm-hmm. It will be good of like another fifty years. Okay, that's good for but it to be like a more creative. I'll, I'll be honest. Person. I want to yeah. take like writing courses because uh, writing is also another side hustle that I've never really tapped into. And, yeah, uh, I don't know. It just seems like that. But mainly, it's voiceovers, hosting. Yeah. Try to do like events, like being runners. Oh <laughs> uh, like, yeah. yeah, also backstage. Yeah, stuff, backstage yeah. stuff. Yeah, uh, just being producers because. Uh, yeah, events. If you guys don't know, it's not just the host that's on the stage, but there's like stage, like, yeah, you have the runners, yeah. all that. So mm, okay. I just tried my best to level up to get as much skills as possible. Mm. Well, I, I, I remember before, because right, we, we studied accounting. Or did you ever study accounting? Yeah, yeah I, I had a worksheet and everything. I'm like, all right, how much money did I earn this month? All right, I'm still on track. Yeah. So it's not just irresponsibly uh, resigned. Bit bullshit. Oh, yeah, yeah oh. dude. I, I still do that till this day because... I mean, I think all freelancers can't <laughs> say. Oh. Yeah, you can't say that. Yeah, I'm good for the year. <laughs> mm. Unless you have like a steady gig. Like, shout out to Podcast Network uh, Asia. You know? Nice. <laughs> they don't pay us that much. Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and <body. laughs> <It's really good. laughs> Resign, resign na. Ano. Arian. Uh, Arian. 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 Arian, resign na. <laughs> shout out to Arian. Thank oh, you for... Can I ask you? Okay, but no, you can't. You can't. It's a show that we can't ask questions. <laughs> <by> <laughs> God damn! Go for it, please. I'm so, I don't know. Some bully, na to. Palagi yung mga pink lawns. This is the guy you support, man. Oh my god! Bully, then. Oh, oh, so no. I go, go, go. Poch. Sure, um, what's up? Can I call you Poch? Yeah, sure. Okay. Please, yeah. So um. I've I've always wanted to get into voice. Okay. Overs. So can you judge this voice over? Of mine? Sure. So, Let's ito, go. Ito bio Jessica. Okay. Arian's listening oh, too. Okay. She's, she's listening to voice overs. Okay, go. Damn, how sakit ang ulo niyo. Kumuha na lang bio Jessica. Ooh, how sakit ang ulo mo. Kumuha lang ng bio Jessica. Wala na. Wala pa. How was that? On a scale of awesome to para sa para sa sinasakal na Mark Hamill. <laughs> Like a joker. <laughs> I mean, that could be like a. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I I think honestly, yeah, uh, and then uh, like that. Uh, I don't know about VO. I don't VO like what Poch does VO or what Inka does VO. I do the VOs of like yung yung characters. Characters, yeah, that's a character. That's a character voice. Bossing, bossing, mga type of ano. Bossing, bossing, wala na akong pere. Yeah. Maya. So, a lot of my friends also, they get into dubbing and that's a totally different art and I've never tried, I tried it once in an internet short of my friend. Yeah, it's pretty tough. So, I mean, be dubbing. Like, may nakita nga ako yung sa mga, sa Channel 5, di ba yung mga Pinoy dub na, yeah, yeah, teleseries and all that. Kahit sa GMA. Makakatawa kasi, magtatagalog sila, may sasabihin silang English phrase uh-huh. na kailangan eh, di ba? Right, right. Tara na mga Autobots. <laughs> tara na tara na at mag-transform. <laughs> di ba, di ba may, may joke na ganyan na mga voiceover na ginawa ko lang din. Sa <laughs> ano yun? Kasi, ano yung spin? Yung kasi, um, Mm-hmm. Pangasinan, nagpapanggalatok sila. Pangasinense. Okay, okay. So, nakakatawa ko may narinig ka nagpapanggasinan. Tapos, dinedescribe niya yung brands ng sabon. Kasi, kailangan niya mag-English. Eh. Right, right, Tagaman. right. Ang tagawan mo dyan? 
Uh-huh. Gago ang gapoy hunts pork and beans. <laughs> <laughs> hunts pork and beans, baby. No, <laughs> para so just code switching real quick. Oh, okay. oh, para okay. ano? Parang mm-hmm. the English word in, in Japanese. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh. that's true. Fasto breako, fasto breako. Kung ilan mo sa ko? Oh my goodness! <laughs> but but oh, yeah. we we are like very off track. We sorry, can't. Sorry, uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, yun so you have to mm-hmm. how do you say this? Um, pursue your passion, but also don't deny na mm-hmm. merong ang responsibilities yeah. as a person. I you think know, also you have to pay bills. I think also proper research because I think we were talking like a few weeks back, like you know what, when it comes to content creators, dude, that's their life. Like oh, you have to oh, boy, pre- it's oh. not just them having fun. Like uh-huh. they have to plan things yeah. and they have to make sure they're getting monetized yeah. in their channel and all that. Streamers mm-hmm. as well. Like the grind is real. Dude. Mm-hmm. At, so the most important term mm-hmm. when they're saying about like um, content creators and because you know, I do get monetized sa Facebook and YouTube. YouTube not so much. But uh, they're always saying that you know, when when it's people outside looking in, I say, mm-hmm. oh, grabe, tika mo, gagawa lang siya ng video. It's so, ano yan? Pa- tapos grabe, passive income yan. Mga gan- it's not passive income. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a job. Yeah. So, kung talagang full-time content creator ka, it, it's really, mm-hmm. like, Ninong Rai does a video every day. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That, that And like, yung production niya is good. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not like just some shitty production na, you know who has it good? Who? The guy who does the one-shot reviews ng pizza. Si oh. El Presidente. Si, I forgot, it's something Portnoy or something like that. Wow, David one? Portnoy. David Portnoy. Port- yeah, Portnoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sports. Oh, uh, Marcel Sports. So, okay. shit niya is that he just, the shot is always, he's just coming out of the <laughs> pizzeria. He has, a, he has a pizza. And then one slice, one bite review. And then that's the content. And so people, sustainable. Yeah. Super sustainable. Uh-huh. Grabe. So, we're not all lucky like that. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. A lot of people are like, you know, kailangan natin uh, to step up. Like, I have like a whole camera crew in my shows just to, you know, give you guys clips. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think people don't understand also the work that it takes to prepare yeah. those things. Yeah. And also, like, let's say an hour-long podcast yeah. it, it, with a, a guest that you just met that moment. Like, the rapport you have to do, the exactly. research you have to do. Uh, it's it's insane. So, I, th- I feel like if you're ever pursuing that passion. Let's yeah. say also, pro players. Because I'm oh, with them did, all no. the time, right? Like, how do I break in? You have to understand, like, let's say Mobile Legends. That's like the most competitive esport here in the Philippines. Yes. Everybody wants to be, like, everybody wants to get to that and level. And they're like celebrities. No? They like, are. You, they're, they're, like, My goodness. They, we I, guessed that si Ducky here. Oh, before. wow. Uh-huh. And then nakita ko yung parang FB post niya na parang, uh, I think, kumakain siya sa Parisan or something mm-hmm. like that. And Dude, then, yeah. they were watching like the ML, whatever, Finals international, yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. And then he used to coach, right? And they yeah, won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, parang sinasabi niya, sinong, sinong lamang, ganyan, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tapos parang sabi ng guy was like, ah, talo tayo? Hindi kasi ikaw yung coach. <laughs> 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 parang goddamn, sobrang celebrity. Yeah. So, uh, again, uh, that, I mean, I remember one time when I was hosting ESGS, like the yeah. ML players, they had to have security detail. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's it's like Kong TV levels it's, it's and they a, needed that. It's a huge but, uh, like a market. So that's also something that do you want to chase after being self-sustained or do you want to be famous? Yeah. Right? Because I definitely do not want to be like that uh, level of like, I need uh, a security detail just uh, to go to the groceries. Uh, that's that's crazy. Ang, ang, ano so, then, sick. I think then, <laughs> he wants that. He wants that. He wants that so that bad. Fame. I don't know what. That, that fame. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. Parang ang, ang, ang I think caveat, no caveat, not caveat. I think the point I'm trying to drive yeah. to is um, when you're working nine to five, that's like what, eight hours a day. Then sabihin natin plus thir- three more hours a commute. commute yep. uh, so 13 hours. Probably you're out 13 hours a day and you're devoting 13 hours of uh, your 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Sabihin natin, narutulog ka ng six hours. So you only have like how many four or five hours to yourself, right? So uh, you're devoting that much for something. Dahil na pag alam mong ayaw mo na yung trabaho mo, Ooh. diba? Kung alam mong ayaw mo na yung trabaho mo, why are you even doing it? Right, right. right. There's not. It's not gonna be. <laughs> it's not gonna get any better, man. It's, uh-huh. like, it's just gonna be like when you move up the ladder. It's just gonna be more work and more responsibility for mm-hmm. such a thing that you don't care about, mm-hmm. diba? So that's one. And then ako rin, one of the things that I thought of when I was like, because I was working like 16, 18 mm-hmm. hour work mm-hmm. days before. I if I devote eight hours 
to my comedy because I ne- I've never done that in my life ever no mm-hmm. time na yun di sobrang yeah oh, like, 10,000 hour rule yeah yeah mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna yeah I'm, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be better at whatever I, I devote my my ano, my my time at diba mm-hmm. so yun parang magtatrabaho ka na rin lang mm-hmm. might as well do it what you yeah. with what you love because honestly it's all gonna be the same thing true like true. It, it, you're gonna work hard for something mm-hmm. that pays you little might as well be something that you like doing yes, yes. Oh. and it is fun being your own boss yes <laughs> then, then. Oh, so okay. also I wanna add the caveat we're talking to the people that can pursue those passions yes. we realize Tama. yeah because there are some people out there that they have responsibilities yeah. we get it you know that's fine you gotta do the job yeah. but this is we're talking to the people that stay up at night what if I pursue art yeah. what if I pursue oh. this that's Stop. where we're talking to you reach yeah. in front of the screen Tama. Red Tama. my hand yes. is reaching out to your <laughs> hand <laughs> there we go uh, yeah exactly uh, thank uh, you yun yung, pero I get you like you know you din yung kasi before I was just free fire yeah, everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone you, you need to know dude everyone is like parang Fair yo game. Huh, pucha ano ka and and honestly hindi ko naman fini free fire lahat but if I know like if if I know like okay this person is ano you did it went, to me I think yeah, that was great because I was he went to Lasal mm-hmm. ganyan diba I'm pretty sure he lives with his parents he has he has this, the means the means mm-hmm. to to you know he's not racing anyone mm-hmm. It's a brand new year and we're excited to be back recording in person in the brand new and state-of-the-art Podcast Network Asia Studios. If you are a podcaster that needs a place to record and be assisted by the best podcasters producers, you can book your studio time at studios.podcastnetwork.asia to get the best podcast experience like us. Soon, we will also be live streaming and recording our episodes with a live audience so you can interact with us. In our guests as we record live. Slots are limited to get access now at pnalive.com and we'll see you in our next recording session. <laughs> mm-hmm. but, but himself, so alam mo yun, I think I could give this advice, di ba? Pero dahil talaga free fire ako. Oh, boom, 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 and it was actually, I kind of realized it na some t- other people need, need their jobs. Yeah, yeah. Alam mo yun? So yun din yung sinasabi ko, that dapat, uh, you have to be aware then of, like you can't just like, look at me and say, say, Red did it this way, I'll do it this way, pero po siya, may tatlo ka palang anak, or pinapaaral mo yung kapatid exactly. mo or something. Yeah. <laughs> <Wait till that>. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> Hindi kasi tangina ta sobrang selfish nga naman may tatlo kang anak. Hindi magsustart ako. Start ako with you. Magkano TF mo diyan? Isang libo per show. <laughs> Kung may pumunta. Oh, I, I guess drink. century 2 na dalawa ng breakfast. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're trying to drive at here uh, ladies and gentlemen. The ones that have the means. Yeah, still still responsible. responsible. And uh, yeah, if you have those means then um I would say pursue maybe kind of do self-reflection and try to realize okay where is this really coming from maybe uh, I can pursue this just as a hobby mm, you know because mm. like oh, open mic nights are a thing now yeah. you can pursue your art anywhere uh, around the world now mm. it's so easy to do that but we don't want to give just this advice to everyone and uh, it's not it's not like like mm. dati parang my sister told me kasi parang I did this content called Resign Mondays <laughs> and then <laughs> Jesus Christ and then she was like, yo, you, you, you know, you can't tell that to everyone because, yeah. you know, people are responsible. And I'm like, oh, no, no, it's a joke because I posted on Thursday. It but is. it's called Resign Monday. So I realized that people might not catch up on that stupid conceptual mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. So I kind of, I stopped it. Because it's right. Eh. Mm-hmm. Not everyone has the privilege to just like, fuck it, carpe diem. Yeah. Let's go to ano, 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 sum- sa, sa Philippines. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah there's sure. some advice that they quit your job. Then they don't know what they're doing. They're like, 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 pak, pak. Oh my God. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if that's, if that's how I go. At least because it's for me. Sorry. But, <laughs> 
todo lo sé. I listened to the podcast episode number 38. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. You told me everything would work out. <laughs> yeah. I, again, because some people blindly follow like their passion without knowing the reality then, of the situation. Oh, yeah, and you know, those American idol people that say, I'm going to be a singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be a star. And they don't realize like maybe the talent doesn't match up. Um, how's the job market or how's the need or yeah. the, the value that you're bringing to the table? Do people really want that? Do people yeah. really need another singer? Another ML uh, player. There's so much. There's so many people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, realistically, right? Medyo, medyo kumag din kasi sabihin na parang you're not gonna make it. Mm -hmm. Which which was which is what I mean, there's so many people that oh, already, yeah. they're already saying that. Mm -hmm. And I I just wanted to be or we just want to be a voice. Na parang, yeah, you know, if you want to pursue this, kaya. Yes. But it's not all. Sunshine like, rainbows. Oh, it's not gonna be like a clear path ahead of you. There's yeah. gonna be there's gonna be one. There's gonna be heartbreak then. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, one, mm -hmm. wala ka stable income. That just keeps you up at night. Yes. Diba? Uh, sure. Like, pag niyaya ka ng friends mo minsan, nung tayo sine, sa ako parang, parang dalawang buna, walang racket. I'll just catch it. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, tell, me, tell me what happened. Parang ganun yan eh. Autorit ko na lang. So, may mga, may mga right. times na ganun. Hindi naman umabot ng sobrang mm -hmm. ganun. Pero there are times minsan na parang, yeah, I'm not gonna go out because, yeah. you know. Like, I don't deserve it. Uh, I don't yeah. deserve this. I don't so. have the money for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's again, I think that could be the main thing of this episode is like the misconceptions of yeah. pursuing that passion because a lot of people think like, oh, he's just doing this. He's he should be fine. He has so much time on his hands, uh -huh. but no. it it's so scary at night. I don't know. Like, I don't know how you uh, how you sleep at night or like mm. the first few months. I'm like, shoot, that's so scary. But like you said, it's so empowering being your own personal boss <laughs> and the victories are a lot more sweeter. But <laughs> the nights up are like heck. So oh, yeah, the, if, is, if you guys are ready for that, then pero, go for it. Okay. It also happens when you have a nine to five. Mm. That's what I'm saying. The mm. difference naman is stable income. Eh. But you will have sleepless nights. You'll have time to get panic attack and everything. So That's parang true. Yung That's true. Utako, if you can mm -hmm. give yourself the, the time to make mistakes. Because not the way Andrin does it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kasi meron yun misa like like paglasing na si Andrin tara red let's make mistakes pag if, if no one is that drinking That sounds like a pickup line. Is <laughs> <laughs> he trying to get in? <laughs> it's, that's his line. Pero uh -huh. akin, like if a lot of I know a lot of people that are stuck with their jobs they feel like they're stuck with their jobs but they're not pwede ka mag-resign dude. dude. And And mm -hmm. honestly, if it doesn't work out, you can always come back. I'm pretty sure they'll take you back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More often than not. Yeah, the, the way companies work mm -hmm. is that they'd rather hire someone that they already trained. And, and instead of investing oh, in time. Of, yeah, like yeah, investing yeah. more time na, na ano, ang klase. Like, I've seen it so many times in advertising. Because the burnout rates of advertising is so high. It's so high. I've yeah. seen a lot of people just resign and come back like three months later. And they're all good. Then they're all good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. they're all good. Na. Parang mm -hmm. ganun. Malaking part then kasi na... Um, mga single bachelor style <laughs> na walang family that, that's a yeah, big malaking bagay yun wala tayong family tsaka yeah. meron, meron tayong parents na tipong okay alright okay. couch surf uh, fine just, just, just stay here and, just pay uh, for groceries uh, alright uh, bayaran yeah. mo na lang kuryente uh, uh, ganun uh, uh, diba uh -huh. so malaking bagay yun uh -huh. so if you're ang akin lang if you're in that position yes that you can pursue your passion I'm saying do it or at least explore it kasi um There's not a lot of people that can do that. Eh. And the more people na, that are in that position mm -hmm. to pursue their passion, the more, I think, happiness and great things will come into effect. Wow. And now you can become someone that you can effectively hire people that pursue. Like, I'm not going to... Hindi ako magyayabang, pero magyayabang ako. <laughs> 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 like, before, when I used to do shows, I would just honestly... Uh, kasama lang ako, talent lang ako. Now I produce my own shows mm -hmm. and the, the shows I produce become bigger and bigger. I would do bar shows mm -hmm. and then ang, ang tao lang na kailangan ko hire are like other comedians. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. like si Andren or si Alex or like other comedians that I would hire, I'd pay them and then do that. And then now I do theater shows, it, it, the production becomes bigger. Right. Now, every time I, I, I do a show, I give I give gigs to not just the openers. Mm -hmm. I give a gig to our si sound engineer natin, si Roy. Yeah. Nice. Diba? And he has his whole team of like three people. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, the camera guy, si Jay, mm -hmm. he has a whole team of like four people. And now I still, 
ako lang atang kumukuha ng lighting designer <laughs> sa, sa ano oh, really? I, yeah, 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 yeah like, you don't even di mo alam you don't appreciate like, he likes the audience no I do but I, I'm just there be, being nervous oh that's true, that's true that's true that's <laughs> true I hire, I, hire, I hire a lighting designer I hire a production assistant sometimes mm-hmm. if I need more help I, need, I hire a production manager I hire front of house uh, if I need extra people I hire mm-hmm. ushers and everything so it's like a whole thing so if you if you are some and these are people I only hire people that they're very passionate about it. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yun, like, bihira yung mga tao na nagra-racket lang in everything. So, uh, in effect, if you are in a position na kaya may pursue yung passion mo and you can fail as much as you want mm-hmm. until you succeed, do it. Yes. Kasi you're yeah. doing, uh, yun nga, parang uh, you playing yourself down is not doing anyone favors. True. Yun, diba? I think it's... Uh, Unfortunately, in the Philippines, we don't have a gap year uh, like to find yourself. Yeah. I think like once you graduate college, if you can make the mistakes, do. Or at least at least when you grow older and I'm reaching that age already that I didn't regret uh, Actually, resigning. You have a great point. Make mistakes when you're young. Yeah, when tama, you're young. Dude, just, just do it. But now I'm thinking that now I'm like going to be 35 this year. And I think parang. I think you could still make make mistakes <laughs> like while in your thirties. I mean, yeah, most cautious now and everything. For sure, because you know? um, yeah, there's ages, there, there's miles in you, and yeah. there, you have more experience. You can't make the same mistakes, obviously. I but. I went to office with a lot of passionate people then. Mm-hmm. Na na nakatulong din yun. So uh, that's why I brought you in then, watch mm-hmm. because I want to show na parang yo, we we have contemporaries na hindi lang comedians. Like it can be for anyone, mm-hmm. diba? Uh, I went to an office with two guys that I that pursued their passion right after. So one, si Ian Santa Maria. Mm. Uh, he he wrote the uh, 66 Sky World, like mga really good cartoonist uh, or illustrator. I don't, know, I don't know what he's called. He works for Lego now, pero Jeez. he does a lot of like Philippine mythology books. Nice that are really uh, great selling. And this guy comes into work earlier than everyone because. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, well, sa, sa BBDO daw may incentive na free breakfast. Yeah. Na, <laughs> if you're there before 9 a.m., free breakfast. So he comes in there like mga 7.30, nandun yung si Ian or 8 a.m. And on time na yun, ginagago ko yung GM namin. Na ang gusto kong gawin is maaga ako sa kanya. And just like drink coffee while he... Kasi kinola out niya ako for being like a junior na parating late. Oh. So my mm-hmm. revenge is like, oh, you know what? I'm, when he comes in, I'm gonna have coffee. Ooh. Like at the entrance. <laughs> which is like, para na ko, he kind of played me, no? Kasi now I go up to work, uh, go, go to work early. For revenge. So, uh-huh. so si Ian is always there. Mm. And he's not working right away. So tinatanong ko, anong ginagawa mo? Nag-drawing lang. So ano yan, pang commission niya lahat? So parang na- na-peak na excitement ko na parang you make money out of these mm-hmm. things. Like sometimes mayroon mga nagpapadrawing. Pero kung wala, mag-drawing lang pa rin lang ako. Nice. Just to work on it. Sharpening his keep, blade. Yeah, keep, keep drawing awesome. and keep drawing because that's what he wanted he wants to do. Mm-hmm. Like And he had like uh, a lot of like successful releases after that. And then mm-hmm. the other one, um, uh, I'm not sure if I could say his name kasi parang he goes by a pseudo, pseudonym ngayon. Eh. That's cool. Uh, he became a painter. Wow. And this guy pursued advertising. I, I know parang in his like mid-30s na. Like mm-hmm. he used to work some like a completely different industry and he wanted to work at something creative. Mm-hmm. In his mid-30s or like early 30s, he shifted and then became an art director. And then after a, a few years in advertising again, uh, it was a pretty good advertising career. He pursued to become a painter. Right. And now he's like his pieces go for like mga 200,000. That's crazy. <laughs> so... But- you know, things yeah, like that. I yeah, I think it's so important also to keep a good circle with yes, you. Yes, right? yes. I'm around these people. Yeah, around, diba? yeah. Uh, so, they help push you. Makikita mo na, you could see how they become successful. Mm-hmm. And, and kung paano nagkisimula, everything. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, makikita mo na parang, ah, okay, now you have a clear pass sa utak mo. Ano yeah. Pwede mong gawin. So, yeah, to those listening also, if you're in a friend group that I don't know, that kind of shoot down your passions or like that. that. No, dude. Uh, you, you gotta be with more people. You gotta be with your tribe. Uh, and and also, maybe they shoot it down for a reason, but make sure it's realistic. Not uh, just like, no, don't think about that. Let's just office <laughs> gossip. Let's uh, just stay here. Let's be sheep. No. 
Uh-huh. You gotta you gotta surround yourself with the right people. Kaya nga yung sobrang fascinated doon sa BDO. BBDO. So, BBDO. BBDO produced yeah. all of these artists. So like, like, mm. they were, it's so weird. Makoy Dubs is also BBDO. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. It's so weird na. Mm-hmm. Like, so, th- does that place suck the creativity <laughs> out of you? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it enhances it, though. It, 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 it was such a shitty place we all wanted to get out. No, <laughs> man. Actually, they're, they're very okay. enabling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. so funny. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. See, BBDO Guerrero is like a uh, like an international BBDO is like an international agency. Agency. Okay. So we have like almost all countries have a BBDO. Mm-hmm. Mm. But the one here in Manila is called BBDO Guerrero. It's run by David Guerrero. Yeah. So uh see David, uh he's uh half British, half Filipino. Mm-hmm. Anakshani Leon Maria Guerrero, who did like the first Rizal biographies, I think, or something like that. Okay. Anyways. Uh, Sorry, I shouldn't be talking shit about these he has powerful a, people. He has a street in UP. You know lang. Okay. okay, so good and siya ka legendary. I was just joking. So see David. <laughs> I, was, I was kidding. <laughs> Please. David is very, huh? very, talagang, it's like one of the, the bosses talaga na parang na encourage ka to be creative. Okay. And he's very, ano, very casual with you as a mm. boss and everything. Tapos, isa rin sa mga, ano rin, like, when I resigned, alam niyang magpupursuo ako ng stand-up comedy. Mm-hmm. So he didn't make it hard for me or anything. Mm. Uh, and then after that, when I resigned, he was he. They're the ones also who greenlit like like all the BBDO people were like, yeah, sige, bigyan natin trabaho si Nice. While he's pursuing. See, this I song. love that because uh, it's like you kind of set your intentions out in the universe and just you know what the yeah. right people will help and you. And at the same time, then when I was working there, I wasn't a dick to everyone. Yeah, I exactly. Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 yeah. like did. Ping yung project pag resign ko. Yeah. So yun din, I, I, mm-hmm. I guess yun din yung part of like being responsible. Yeah, you yeah. can't just be like, fuck this job, I'm out. No, if no, you no, do no, good no. work, everywhere you go and you're not a dick, you can yeah. work hard, be kind, amazing mm-hmm. things will happen talaga. You exactly. Know, you talaga. Wow, this is such an inspiring episode, man. That, oh my. Right? Oh my. Look at that. Watch out, we ain't talking about shit anymore, pare. Oh wait, somebody <laughs> else is here. There's the camera. Yeah. There's my a hard hand! Camera. Who's reaching out to your hand? Uh, I, you yeah. Talaga, yeah, like, mm-hmm. um, who are your like enablers apart aside from from you aside from me <laughs> who messages you to resign every week um well it actually was the Tekken community shout yeah. outs to them they're the how ones how did you get into that oh, yeah. Yeah. by the way well yeah that was because I, there was a bunch of guys in PWR that are re- that we really like regularly I know, play. And I then know. beyond out of nowhere, you're like Boom. a caster. Like, what? Yeah. Uh, I, I, so here's my, here's what I like and I don't like about myself. I don't really say what I'm going to do next. Or like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, all right, let me just try this out. Uh-huh. And yeah, and just to explain that, the reason why I haven't told much people in PWR is because after every show, I'm so tired. Yeah, yeah. We had like 16 matches and exactly. like, I'm so tired. I, I got to uh-huh. go home. But yeah, I got into Tekken. So that's the Pika. Uh, one of the people I first casted with. Mm-hmm. Um, I just messaged Ron from Playbook. I'm yeah. like, yo, you have tournaments? And then I was watching, uh, I was watching, uh, you know, Tasty Steve, all these yeah. people. <laughs> the, and these are all people that watch the show. Yeah, yeah they were. So, and yeah, 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 exactly. So I, I messaged Ron. I asked like, hey, do you have like open, I want to try out just, you know, is there like an open mic for casters? Because <laughs> 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 that's my, my, my oh, no. oh yeah, we have like every Friday. I'm like, okay, cool. Bet, I'll, I'll go there and then I'll try it out. So every Friday that was like my open mic because there's FGC Fridays yeah, in Playbook. Yeah, yeah. Playbook. So yeah. I just kept doing it, doing it. And like you said, good work kind of speaks for itself. And I tried incorporating a little bit of style for wrestling, UFC, yeah. all that. And then I got some gigs slowly. I'm like, wow, this is kind of sustainable. Yeah. And you got the gig. Yeah. I like got, you got a Rev Major. I got and Rev you got Major. A, you got an Evo gig, right? I did. Oh, for yeah. the audience out there, what is shoutcasting? Because I know it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. what is shoutcasting? So it's basically like if you watch any like sports games mm-hmm. or something, it's, it's the ones that kind of tell a story like while the action is ongoing. Yeah, yeah. So I just call it commentating. Yeah, it's yeah. commentary. It's commentary. I, why, yeah. why, did it, why was it called differently by Shoutcasting is the name of the program that they uh, use. Uh, so you're a shoutcaster. I see. Yeah. Okay. So, I didn't know that. So that's why when I'm in family gatherings, what do you do? I'm a commentator. I just uh, I just say uh, that. I, yeah. I don't want to yeah. say shoutcaster. So he's a he's a he's a he's a gaming com- yeah. esports commentator. Yeah. And, um, uh, Have you seen the new Tekken trailer? By the way? Yeah. Oh, and Lenny uh, Lenny Hart, who's the announcer? Lenny Le- Le- Hart. Le- but I don't know what how it's pronounced, but he's like he's like the Pride she, FC. Yeah. She. she. Yeah. She's like the Pride FC. So, Operatic uh, singer. Uh, anyway, mm-hmm. go for it. So mm-hmm. I'm very uh, hyped for that. Mm-hmm. You, okay. Wait. So that so you just did FGC Fridays mm-hmm. and then get it lang and uh, again it goes back to like 
sometimes when you're pursuing something, mm-hmm. it can branch out to like different things. Yeah. Like, so you were a ring announcer sa PWR. Mm-hmm. Ron mm-hmm. and Pika and all of these, some people, some FGC personalities, they watch the product. Yes. Diba? yes. So that's kind of like, parang yun yung proweba mo in mm-hmm. like, yo, I, 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 have this background, I want to try this out. So they let you in in, in their in their circle. Mm-hmm. And then now you're like one of the most sought after Pinoy uh who else is there? I I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no one no one uh, so but, yeah. manami, manami, manami. Dur- during mm-hmm. shows you're the mm-hmm. announcer. Mm-hmm. And do you have a partner? can also host. Yes. Yeah. Do, you, do you have a partner? Yeah. yeah so depending. so what's that dynamic? Is this who's the king, who's the JR? Like Oh, oh yeah, yeah. what's okay. the dynamic? So of that? there's usually color and play by play. So play by play is usually the one that's calling the action that's happening. Oh, that's very, you, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah. I, the fast talkers mm-hmm. and all that. And then like the like when me and Red tried doing commentary, mm-hmm. he's like the expert. That's the color commentator okay. that yeah. are ex pro players mm-hmm. or that really know the the game in and out. Yeah. So so that's usually the case, but in fighting games, it's a little hard because it's so fast. Yeah, yeah. So you much. need to know a little bit of both. And I try my best to bring in like the wrestling mentality, like whoever I'm with, we're gonna have the best, like uh, we're gonna be best friends okay. and all that. And I think that's something that talent should bring into the table because whenever someone's on the mic, it's like I'm gonna make this joke. This it's very yeah self gets, gets, gets self gratifying. It's yeah. like I'm gonna do this spot, this spot, this spot. Yeah. But it's not the case because you're only as good as your partner. Yeah. So I try my best. That's why I think hosting really helps. My hosting back on radio. Or in it. it no, it helps because sometimes I'm with a co-host. It's like, uh, all right, I, we have to he- elevate this yeah, show. Yeah. So some people, it's like, especially a big misconception they have with commentating is like, you're just talking about the game. And you know, you're yeah. just whatever. Uh, but it's more than that. It's like you're talking about the person, you're trying to entertain the audience. That sounds, that so. sounds He's hard. really good, man. Yeah, that like, sounds really you. hard, thank dude. You. Like, um, mm-hmm. so we 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 <laughs> sir, we just recently been doing like Commentary FPW. on on mm-hmm. FPW. We did one in Homecoming before, nice. and we had no experience <laughs> working with each other. Like we've worked, pero he has his role, I have my role. We've never been like in a tandem, mm-hmm. but it went smoothly. Because I think, uh, meron lang talagang, I don't know. He's uh, he there's generosity then, and, and also like nika nang sasa pabawa niya, de ba? And if you I, truly know your role. Yeah. And uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you truly know your role, okay. it, it would be easier. Yeah. Alam mo yun? Kasi mm-hmm. may mga tao na parang they try to do a lot of things because oh, they want to put themselves over. Oh, yung next JR. Yes. yes. Parang, Jeff, go! Yung may intense. Uh, Tapos sila sabi, Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a- any advice I'd give out there to upcoming talents or commentators? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah. who, who's the one that said turn yourself up to 11? Like, I heard that. Like, yeah, in rest. yeah th- it's that. Because why would, I wouldn't get Kevin a... Kevin Nash, I think. Kev- oh, you uh-huh. said that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like, why would I get a, 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 a 6 out of 10 Tasty Steve where I could just get Tasty Steve himself? Why don't exactly. I get a 11 you? Because it's, yeah, uh, I, I get that. There's a yeah. lot of people that, again, imitation is the biggest form of flattery, yeah. but the best, uh, Sir Koji from Play yeah. FM, he did say like, emulate, never imitate. Exactly. So just, you, you can, okay. mm-hmm. yeah. it. like if, if you're also inspired by someone, that's fine. But remember, like, you admire this person for a reason because he's great. Mm-hmm. And you'll never be him. Mm-hmm. Impossible. Yeah. Even kahit sobrang galing mo, you'll never be, you'll always be just a knockoff. So parang, yeah. if you're imitating someone, ang best case scenario mo, it's gonna be, you're gonna be parang, associated yeah, with yeah, all the time. The, the best knockoff of this person. Mm-hmm. Oh. So that's not fun. Mm-hmm. Yun, de, masarap pag- yung parang kung sinabi, ikaw yung Pinoy, Pinoy George Carlin or yes. Pinoy yes. then it's like oh. is that really you <laughs> uh, so I think that's also what helped Pinoy Aerosmith <laughs> <laughs> like, B B yeah. what, what really helped was going through kind of yeah making those mistakes knowing my value knowing who I am what, what I bring to the table and that's super important what Red said just I, as as a, much of a mark line it is you gotta know your role uh, mm-hmm. and, and be the best role that is yeah. Uh, whether it be you just announcing or you commentating or I you keep, being there I keep telling them people because I'm in the na ako sa, like there's a lot of people that always say carpe diem seize the day oh pare capture mo to and everything <laughs> nobody wants to slow fuck slow the fuck down slow down <laughs> you can slow down and savor every moment right. that you have yeah. and then also is ito rin yung pinaka parang misconstrued mm-hmm. statement is think outside the box when people say think outside the box it's oh. always oh pare ginagawa to ito yung box eh. iba yung gagawin mo <laughs> okay. diba sa so stand up comedy namin ganyan diba na parang may isang guy na alala ko sinabi niya yung jokes ko kasi hindi talaga nakakatawa eh. 
<laughs> Parang, Jesus like, Christ! So is that that? So inisip, feeling ko, it, it, it's coming from this mm-hmm. mentality na if you want to stand out, you, you have to think outside the box. Actually, mali eh. For oh, me. Yeah. So I've been telling people mm-hmm. sa mga work, corporate workshop ko called You Is Enough. Subscribe uh, so mm-hmm. uh, You can get me for your offices and in, inspire your inspire. employees to resign. <laughs> 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 but I always have a slide that says uh, uh, think uh, outside the box is kind of great but what's better is make the box great ooh because uh, if you make the box great parang you are within kung ano yung binrief ka na moment mm-hmm. and you know, you're not breaking anyone's rules you're not stepping True. on anyone's toes uh-huh. but so binigay sa yung means mm-hmm. you you flourish parang. yeah that's cool alam mo yun so yun yung parang yun sa mga can, mga I, can, I, add, can I add to that because I feel like you have to be at a, I would say put in more hours for you to think outside the box because the box is there as a foundation right yeah. and you yeah. can only think outside the box once you've mastered yes, the box yeah, exactly, the box, exactly. Right? Yeah. like a guy nga lang sinabi may mga ibang comedians like I'm gonna think outside the box tapos biglang maglalabas sila ng manika tapos kakainin <laughs> some stupid shit right? yeah it's like, always some stupid there's shit there's no box like, uh, what is that what is yeah. that yeah mm. I've had my fair the, the, share they yeah. need to have a foundation yes that's, so that, that's one pero mm-hmm. ang akin like um uh, Ako, I perform stand up. I don't do anything fucking outside the box. I I I'm within the terms of my medium. Yes. Like I don't even bust out up. I've never busted out a prop mm. in in any of my my stand up shows. I've never used any kind of uh sound effects, music, whatever. It's just Yahoo! really Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! <Yeah! laughs> It's just me and my jokes. Yes. Lang. So, kumbaga parang napaka napaka purest and napaka the fundamentals the fundamentals yeah. is what i use kasi i i'm i'm trying to tell people then and and uh proof din na parang mm-hmm. you're not super it, it, there's a box but you're not limited yes, alam mo you're not you're you can do so much sure na, with the box yeah mm-hmm. you got you got you can make sure na parang alam mo yun, you you grow inside this box and you can still flourish it's a fucking huge yeah. box what's yeah. in the box <laughs> 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 a lot of things apparently uh, and yeah i think that a lot of people want to come in. Again, maybe it's more of the their Standing naive, out yeah, kind no, of thing? yeah. Well, not necessarily. Excite, I feel like is it excitement? excitement probably. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, maybe I, I can only speak on my behalf yeah. of esports and all mm. that. They, they want to make a mark. They're so. Uh, I, I want to try this, this, this. Okay, like you said, slow your roll. There's a lot to you know get foundation of. Like, did you do your? Are, are you? Do you even know the fundamentals of shout casting? Do you know the color and play by play? Do you know when to stop talking? No, you didn't. Right. Uh, <laughs> that that's that's a skill in itself. Yeah, that would be hard for you, like as comedian. To stop talking. <laughs> 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 Ako parang uh-huh. uh, parang yun yung challenge eh. when you're doing tan. Because there's a lot of people that, and I've seen some comedians na akala nila madali lang to yeah. like oh magatandem host kami with someone uh-huh. that, I've, that I've that I've done shows with uh-huh. so long. Hindi siya nag go work eh. Yeah. Hindi <laughs> siya nag go work sometimes. So and, like, for me, the way I take up hosting and yeah. shout outs to Jazz Reyes because uh-huh. she taught me this. There's like always host A, host B. So oh, host okay, A okay. is the one that's like the straight man. Yeah. Host B is the one that just. Yes, yes, so yes. one you can't be have two host Bs because nothing's gonna happen. Oh, that's gonna happen. You can't have two host A's because you're gonna So boring. Yeah, <laughs> two, oh. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. So you gotta have that balance. I love being the B. The B. Oh, the one that, I don't want ever the straight like, man. Kung, you don't the, want to be the. Kayo, I hate mm. being the lead. I, I actually like that. being the straight man because it's just easier. <laughs> Damn, man, you, see, you can just react. To yeah, that's true. I I always thrive in being the host A because it's uh, or yeah. it's good to be both because you don't know who you're like no, if, man, if man. a company gets you. Sub B, parang there's like more trust involved, right? Yeah, because you need to know the crowd. All right, you're the one that kind of has to be uh, the one engaging with the audience, yeah, yeah, yeah. more charismatic one. So I guess there's pros and cons. So that's something. Every time na I take a hosting gig, reluctantly because I hate hosting, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I needed money. Uh-huh. Uh, now I don't take hosting. Gigs that much anymore. Um, but I think if they pair me up with, oh, pair up ka namin with this person and I'm like, it's always parang they imagine na parang, oh, okay yan kasi ikaw yung nakakatawa. Tapos siya yung Dude. magaling magsilita. Tapos siya yung, ano, ganyan. Kasi ikaw nakakatawa. Siya, siya mamilig ka. So parang, how, you know how <laughs> these things work? Like, I imagine cartoon characters. Oh, uh, employee. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> You 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 do that and everything. It's always hard. Like so, uh-huh. ako, every time, 
Prati nila, prati sila ng, the result is always sabihin nila, no, kulangan pa kami sa'yo, pwede ka pa mag-all out yan eh. Parang, alam mo yung pag may intermission, mm. yun, yun yung yeah, feedback sa'yo. Uh-oh. And I'm like, I can't because this guy is gonna be a straight man and react. And if I say something terrible Radi- yeah, or radical, how is he gonna bounce back from that? How is he gonna bounce back from that? I'm, I'm, I'm dalak yeah, ko siya eh. Alam mo yun, it's not like ako lang na, uh-huh. na if I say something stupid, <laughs> I, I, like yeah, yeah exactly oh. and I think that's the thing with hosting and commentating it's like you have to find a middle ground because sometimes I've seen pairs like one is super analytical the other one is like she's a cosplayer or something that's just like <laughs> uh, that, that, <laughs> yeah. so it's like oh wow how is this gonna work out but luckily who fucking pairs these people again it depends like yeah. it depends like you can, I was also paired up with a cosplayer too it's like yeah. oh shoot I gotta we have to be in tandem here so uh-huh. I can't go too analytical you have to meet in the middle and I think that's a skill if you guys want to pursue hosting Toto. you have to focus on your strengths mm. and not highlight your own strength and be mm. selfish mm. what if like the person in front of you yeah is really new to the game yeah. or or like uh, doesn't want to you're gonna kind of expose them for that that's not good oh uh, yun den, mm. yun den. you don't want to expose your because it's unethical yeah yun, that's you know, like oh yeah, yeah so you don't want to set them up it's kind of like there are people game. though mm-hmm. that are kind of dicks when they will uh, like, they will expose you like <laughs> if you don't keep up with me mm-hmm. uh, classing type of host sila. Uh, yeah so yeah that's why I hate hosting I'm mm-hmm. sorry it's, but, it's, you know, it's tough especially if it's like uh, it's kind of cutthroat too if you think about I it I love hosting when I'm with a good partner like I co-hosted with James last year for the arcade Christmas party mm-hmm. I co-hosted with Victor in some weddings uh, you can get us masaya uh, siya and everything I, I, I commentate with you sa FPW mm-hmm. so that's also great get us Pero to commentate like, your wedding guys <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird I think you're forgetting yeah. one thing right? that's a good slice good slice of a cake oh! uh, meron pa ba ang co-host na nakasama or whatever hindi I, uh, um, si Andren si Andren naman kasi uh I take on the responsibility of carrying his career. Alam mo yun? <laughs> so, so parang, alam mo yun? Kumbaga parang, I can't, kumbaga, I can't fuck him up because he has nothing. Anyways. So, so, he's just, uh, I know. There should be a, a, a burn day. I don't know, I lost count with how many times he's got digs. Wait, mas kupal yan sa akin. Really? Sa yeah. Dude, I am the victim here. No, <laughs> so no, no, no. <laughs> If we can, you know, if we oh. can itemize, mas kupal mga Shoutouts, by the way, to Red. Um, he helped end the show. Uh, a lot of Bago Matulog fans watch my show so Wednesday. Oh, Let's go! Shout out to you. He, just, he, he just wants to bring up na nag sold out yung show. He told me yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats. Thank uh, you so much. Told, how did he tell you? Like, oi, Poch, nice no, no, to meet no, you, no, bro. No, no. <laughs> by the way, nag <laughs> sold out yung show. No, no, I was <laughs> asking him. I was asking him. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. He's doing shout. Can hold up. <laughs> by the way, nag sold out. Hold up. It's me time. It's me time. Okay. It's, it's, <laughs> but I was talking to him and he, was, he just dropped that. Yeah. Pero yun nga. Um, so, I've always used people na yun din on, on my circle that I know. Mm-hmm. Because I know na, na y'all get me and I get you and then you kind of have like a good starting point now mm-hmm. when, we st- when we start working. That That's that's how it goes. Um, ang, so that's, I think it just proves um na you know surround yourself yes. with people that you want to collaborate with mm-hmm. that's one and if you can't collaborate with them malaking bagay din na you have the same mentality mm. na na kunare if you're feeling uh feeling down or parang ano uh wala kang racket masyado you can just like tell people or ask people na man, hey what do i do or, and then you can get like a fresh perspective because he she's been or he's been in the same situation right. mm-hmm. we we need you need peers. Yes. Uh, you need, and and especially, you need the right set type of balance to support you, but not blow smoke up your butt. Yeah, and you uh, oh, But not be too... Self-critical. Like, yeah, uh, too critical. Right? Yeah, so yeah, it, it, it's, yeah. it's hard because, and this is what I've noticed also with talents. It's like, they, there's this sense of competition. I don't think that's the like. It's it's fine to have that healthy sense there's, of competition. There's healthy competition. There, there's sobra na yung, ano, yung, yeah. yung, yung na kayo. But yeah, Backstab. Backstabbing. Backstabbing. Yeah, that's, that's what you're, I want to avoid. You're, you're, yeah. you're, you're spreading rumors. Oh, oh my let, goodness. Let's talk about that. Siguro at the uh, uh, now that we're you know at the tail end of our episode. Okay. Uh, it's a long one. Eh? Wow. Uh, How long? I have no idea. Like mm-hmm. close to an hour. Okay. okay. Yeah. And um, because I live by yung what Conan said. Mm. Work hard, be kind, work be hard. Kind. Amazing mm-hmm. things will happen. So th- there are two things in there. 
work hard. You got it down. Like, sige, fine. If you're pursuing a passion, it's very easy to grind for things that you really love. Mm-hmm. Right? Pero be kind is something that I think a lot of people don't. <laughs> there's <laughs> a lot of people, there's a lot of people na para sa akin mm-hmm. would have been great people. Uh, but they're not kind people. I, I, get, mean, that, like, I get that. Like, Marami, marami they, they don't push down the elevator to like let new people in. Is that that's, that, that's one? That's one. Well, mm-hmm. Doesn't even that. Or, parang alam mo, talaga kasama. Ah. Like I'm a dick to Andrin. I'm pretty. <laughs> it ends there. Next time. <laughs> I'm a dick, dick to Andrin. And next week. <laughs> <laughs> next on the show. Anyway. A- ako, I I I I fool around and be a dick to you and be a jackass to you, an asshole to you. Pag pag mas close tayo. Eh. If mm-hmm. but if we're like in a professional setting, I won't be an asshole to yeah, you. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah. Tsaka, Only when people are watching. Red, red, them. Red, 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 <laughs> fucking book me if you don't like me. Oh exactly, no, I, exactly. I, I I just book and out of pity. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pity book. It's not skill. It's not skill. Then 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 yun then yun then yun then yun yun. Tama tama mm-hmm. ka naman Andrin. Pero oh. There's a lot of people. Like, I've worked with comedians. I don't know the name. But there are comedians before that are really fucking great. Like, mm-hmm. uh, they do like an hour set in right. some small bar that they would fucking kill and that's mm-hmm. that. But they're just a bunch of dicks. Uh, you know that? Like, mm-hmm. talagang, so ako parang, you know what? You're not, I'm not making a lot of money so I'm not going to work with them anymore. Mm-hmm. And then now, well, when I've come up and I feel like, you know, uh, I've been doing like a lot of shows that are good. Uh, the people that I used to work with, I want to bring bring them along with me. Like mm-hmm. so, I had si Durf, Durf Hebrado. We started. Uh, he started two thousand eight in stand up comedy. So medyo kasalus kasabay na amin. And then, sabi ko yo Durf, tara do the theater and however fucking minutes you want, mm-hmm. we'll we'll do it. Ganyan ganyan. So ganon and then, uh, you have these all these young comedians that are. Uh, you know, starting out and uh, they're, they're really good. So you you put them on the spot and then yung mga tao na enjoy mo katrabaho and everything. It's not even, I don't even judge that much. We say, dapat you have to to have like a certain type of skill yes. level then. Pero at the same time, malaking judgment din kung may enjoy ko bang kasama to while I'm in backstage. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Yeah. You don't wanna be like tayo na backstage kasi uncomfortable ka kasi puta basura yung kasama mong tao. <laughs> diba? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Mm. And, and yeah, to, to that effect, like being kind, it, mm. I think that's really important too, especially yeah. in like freelance work because sometimes mm. it's your character that gets you exactly. uh, or like keeps you top of mind. Yeah, keeps you top of mind. It's exactly. one thing. Yeah. So, so, so when they think of a project, oh, si Poch, mm-hmm. ganyan, ganyan, yeah. Ganyan, ganyan. Well, numbers can take you only so far, but yeah. if you're easy to work with, if you can, if you have a good work ethic, yeah. you come in early and all that. Poch, it's, yeah, without, without naming any names, you've experienced this one Oh, working man. with douchebags except <laughs> Tereda so it's <laughs> a guy na kinilaw that, that chung nurse fucking ass to uh, <laughs> cheers to that yeah, uh, have uh, you ever met any dick bags then yeah oh, there, I mean yeah it's, we worked it's, in wrestling yeah dude I mean <laughs> we, we, can, we can spend all the whole best, episode uh, only the best fan base uh, uh, only the best fan base <laughs> in all of, all of fandoms uh, uh, the and the fans. fucking egos of people mm. man, so, a lot of uh, egos a lot of egos like I just want to touch on wrestling. We I've worked with people na ayon yung matalo in a fake sport in a scripted in a scripted sport because it hurts his brand. That's what he said. Okay. Pinoy <laughs> so, Goldberg but yeah. <laughs> Goldberg Goldberg nobody told him that he wouldn't lose. He'd take the fucking he'd <laughs> okay. put people over it. Oh, yeah. He would. But he lost didn't... to a taser. He did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> diba? so, oh, sick, it's man. not like parang he forced sick. himself to kick out and everything. But this guy talaga, He's... this guy was booked to lose one time. Yeah. Niloko niya yung kalaban niya. Sabi niya, hindi, draw na pala. So the, the, every, the, the whole fucking match was changed. It's and so weird. Nobody backstage so you. weird. The bullet kami. Uh, yeah. Some backstage politicking, as they say. Right? <laughs> yeah, so may mga ganyan tasing tao. Uh, mm. may, may, You're not gonna take the pin, brother. Yeah, may, yeah. may, may kilala ako na wanted to turn heel. And we didn't want to turn him heel because he, he's such an adorable character or uh-huh. whatever. And then, nagwala siya in public because he wants to prove that he can be a dick. <laughs> nagwala siya in public That's because some he serious to Andy Kaufman pr- shit uh, right there. Yeah, okay. okay. Ooh, where's the artist? <laughs> <and> the <laughs> artist? <laughs> Nobody was fucking threatened by him. It was just really annoying. It was <laughs> super annoying. Uh, yeah. Then, nagwawala siya dun. And his line was like, oh, anong kala nyo? Hindi ko kaya maging maangas? Parang ganun or something sick, like that. Sick. That's like the opposite of big... 
whatever energy, right? Oh, That's not yeah. big energy oh, at all. So, like, so yung mga ganyang bagay, like, anong, doesn't matter if you draw because they don't draw. Yun din. That's one. <laughs> diba? So, why, anong redeeming quality mo? Why would I work with you? Exactly. Anymore, diba? And mm. to Red's point kanina, if all mm-hmm. of you are friends and like, have a working good relationship mm. back. It makes for a better show. Yeah. It makes everything like, better. Yeah. Product, mas better yeah. Yeah. Mas mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have fun, you have drinks yeah. after, you yeah. can eat after, and you feel like you're in the foxhole oh. together. Mm-hmm. Alam mm-hmm. Uh, not to say we're like soldiers. Yeah, it's we're just not. The, we just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I agree that you will run into those people eventually that you don't vibe with. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily it's like a bad thing, but it's just like you don't you're not in the same tribe. All yeah. right, that's good. But you as a professional also, and it comes with the work ethic, you just have to like if if uh, you get booked for this type of thing, uh, you have to perform. Yeah. So again, good work. Be kind. Mm. As long as you're able to work with that person, mm. I think that should be fine. Spots got oh, yeah. me into like an esports gig before, and there was a guy who was like, "Yo, <laughs> he showed up to shoot, and he said, "Yo, I'm double, double booked. Book. Double book. I have to come back after four hours." And he just left. And then we were just, and just we just you waited. Mean quatro. <laughs> we just, yeah, you mean quatro, and then we just waited for four hours. Big and then he dick. came back. He was Fuck. just laughing about it. Sorry, yeah, blah blah. Well, I'm like fucking ass. <laughs> this guy rules. This <laughs> fucking sucks. This guy fucking rules. Yeah, that was see that uh, that. Please yeah. don't do that. If you're gonna push uh, anything, please don't please don't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. So, fucking... malaking factor. Uh, honestly, if lalo na ako, I'm a promoter now and I produce. Oh yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So. Malaking factor is I, am I gonna get along with you or in the thick of things magaaway ba tayo? If there's like stress, magaaway ba tayo because I just can't stand your face mm-hmm. <laughs> or you stand your or you stand your ego. Diba? That's such a horror, like pure hate. Of, I can't stand your face. Hindi na ako yung fucking uh, essence face, mo, bro. <laughs> Kaya nainis din ako sa mga tao na parang sa sa bigin sa akin na. But di mo ako binobok or hindi naman ako na mo book dito. Eh, ginagawa ko naman lahat ginagawa ko. Ginsabi ko, I. I I book on based on my taste. I'm sorry. Kung mm-hmm. kung hindi kita trip na tao. Exactly, I mean, exactly. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be an audience for you. Yeah. I'm not saying na I'm not saying na you guys are terrible and you won't have any success. I'm just saying I don't want to work with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. It's and, not me. It's you. And I'm, not, <laughs> and I'm not a gatekeeper of success, guys. There's so many people gonna be more successful. Yeah, and I uh, know uh, there's so many ways to be successful. Yun din. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. And, and to that effect, also end all be all. You can't be so desperate. I would say have an end game in mind because yeah. I feel like yeah, the way you're able to produce your own shows, that's good. But always have a moving target because sometimes it doesn't, and that's why it, it keeps moving. And that's why I feel like some people are so desperate to like, oh, I need to get, uh, get, so, get, get, get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is a good insight on man. You've grown, Poch. Wow, thank you've, you. You've grown. Yeah. But again, uh, if you want to book Poch. He is uh, highly recommended wow, by you. me. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I don't know if that means a lot of that things. That means a lot. Uh, highly really recommended good. by Andrin. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> yes. yeah. He's such a sweet dude. Like, uh, we talk to each other at the yeah, backstage. Uh, and we, we, we've, Kamini Poch, we've worked like non lucrative projects. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Very, very we never had a project na we we weren't paid well. <laughs> Alam mo yan, Only fans. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. yet. It's gonna happen. Only gonna fans happen. coming soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but this guy talaga sobrang gan ka trabaho and uh, one of the things that you know I I, I uh, congratulate you on your success. Uh, thank and you. More thank you. Sure, hindi magan ka trabaho. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're heavy. Sobra, yes. We get it. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh. Poch Estrada is a uh, commentator for Tekken and Identity 5. He also hosts esports. Uh, he also hosts all sorts of events. Mm-hmm. Um, he's also the voice of Filipino wow. pro wrestling. He's the nice. ring announcer and commentator. Uh, in which soon we will debut the first episode of FPW Astig. Please go to our social media at Phil Pro Wrestling mm-hmm. and check out when we are going to announce a date. But we are... Uh, Aiming for a March release. Let's All right. Go. And then also, we have our second live taping on mm-hmm. March 26th for yes. Pro Wrestling. So there you go. Get your tickets. Please check that check that out. Andren, do you want to promote anything? Um, When is this episode coming out? Next week. Next week, pa? Oh, no. Bala. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, na lang sa mga na lang. <laughs> sa 30 minutes. <laughs> March 25, I have a show at mm-hmm. Teatrino called Alanganin Famous. Sorry. Please. Check that out as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Poch, you want to promote anything? Uh, follow me at Spicy Poch.
The views and opinions expressed by the podcast creators, hosts, and guests do not necessarily reflect the official policy and position of Podcast Network Asia, the hosts of the program, or other programs of the network. Any content provided by the people on the podcast are of their own opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything.